Horses are on the track for race eight at DuCoin. Win play show exacta trifecta. Another elimination of the darn safe for two-year-old trotters. Number one varsity player owned by HBH Standard Breads Incorporated of Warrenville of Bonnie and Joy Hutchison, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Number two, Fox Valley Gatsby, owned by Sam and Ellen Lilly's Lilly Racing Stable, Incorporated of Downers Grove, Illinois. Jerry Graham of Salem, Chris Daniels of Salem, J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights, trained by Wade Barbary, the driver Dave McGee. Number three, Austin Sleek, is owned by Dale Adams of Paris and John David Finn of Newton, Illinois, trained and driven by J.D. Finn. Number four, graphic artist owned by Bill Wright of Morton, Nancy and Jim Reynolds of Watsika, trained by Dirk Simpson. The driver is Brent Holland. Number five, Bare Naked is owned by Leo Grumble's Chili Day Stables of Carrollton, trained by Leo Grumble. The driver is Andy Miller. Number six, TK Blackspur, owned and trained by Randy Joe Finn of Newton. The driver, Fred Finn Jr. And number seven, Rockin' Star, owned by Kenneth Buck, of Denison, Iowa, trained and driven by Springfield's Rick Schrock. This trifecta race is less than three minutes from post. Here they come. Austin Sleek off stride. They're off and trotting, and there goes TK Black Spur out for the early lead. Graphic artist gets away second. Varsity player comes out third as they enter the first turn. Fox Valley Gatsby quickly settles into the fourth position. Rock and Star is off stride. Bear Naked comes away racing in fifth. Austin Sleek has caught the field in sixth after his break, and Rock and Star is back trotting, but seventh and a distant seventh at that. TK Black Spur leads by a length and a half at the quarter mile mark. Graphic artist goes second by the same margin. Varsity player third by two. Then Fox Valley Gatsby is fourth, 29 and two for the opening quarter. They're followed by Bare Naked, Austin Sleek, and Rockin' Star is still far back. After three eighths of a mile, TK Black Spur is on the lead by a length and a half. Graphic artist getting a good trip in second by two and a half to varsity player third followed by Fox Valley Gatsby, who's waiting patiently in fourth as they move by the half-mile mark. And here comes Bare Naked. The Illinois State Fair champion is out and driving from the fifth position. Suddenly, he's third, and TK Blackspur leads them past the half in a minute. He's on top by a length and a half. Bare Naked goes second outside of Graphic Artist, who gets shuffled back into third. Varsity player comes off the rail from fourth, and here's the challenge for the lead. Bare Naked is off stride. Bare Naked got the lead, and he's off stride just as he took over by a neck. TK Blackspur leads by two. Graphic Artist is second a length and a half, followed by Austin Sleek, who's on the inside of horses, racing in the third position. Fox Valley Gatsby goes wide from fifth. He's three wide and gearing up. Three quarters and one thirty and one fifth. TK Blackspur about to face a challenge. Graphic Artist and Fox Valley Gatsby are charging up on the outside. TK Blackspur by a length. Graphic Artist is there and Fox Valley Gatsby coming on. Fox Valley Gatsby with a huge kick off the final turn rolls to the lead. TK Blackspur is now second. Austin Sleek has made up a lot of ground. He's gone a big trip. He's third. He's moving up. But in the lane it's all Fox Valley Gatsby. This horse will be reckoned with on Saturday. Fox Valley Gatsby draws clear to win it by six. Austin Sleek was second. He turned in a big effort. And TK Blackspur was third in two minutes flat. Jerry Graham, the co-owner of Fox Valley Gatsby. Jerry won his share of races. You might remember when he won with the Philly Misty Misty and upset the boys in the Governor's Cup for two-year-old pacers here and went on to earn honors as national two-year-old pacing Philly of the year, Misty Misty. J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights is Jerry's son. We told you Sam Lilly is the owner of the Lilly Racing Stable of Downers Grove and Chris Daniels of Salem is the other co-owner of this winning trotter. Wade Barbary trains this Armbro Charger gelding bred by Fox Valley Standard Breads. This marks the first DuCoin State Fair winner ever for Wade Barbary as trainer. We'll try to talk to him next. Let's get a word with Wade Barbary. Wade is from Salem. Wade, last week you got, or two weeks ago, you got your first ever state fair winner. We're going to slide over here toward the middle of the winner's circle with your co-owner, Sam Lilly. First time you've trained a winner at the DuCoin State Fair. How does it feel? Feels good. 
It's a long way from underwater welding on barges in the Mississippi River, which is one of the things you used to do, but you're no stranger to harness racing either, are you? Talk about your background before you became a trainer. Well, I worked for Jerry Graham for several years, and uh, Jerry taught me just about everything I know. And uh, then I went back to welding, because, you know, the horse business never paid a lot, just rubbing horses, so. I always loved the horses, and so what I'd do is I'd just weld for a while, save my money. When I had some money saved up, I'd go back and play with the horses, so. Well, speaking of speaking of playing with the horses, you've not only been playing with the horse, you've been putting in some hard work, and it's paying off. This trotter looked great. Good luck to you, to co-owner Sam Lilly, the Grams, and Chris Daniels. Go get that $50,000 purse, twenty-five dollars to win Saturday. Good luck. Thank you. Wade Barbary, he's our winning trainer. More in a moment. <laughs> 